Hey guys, Jack here with Space Games on YouTube. I decided today not to stream um, the servers yesterday doing gameplay. It gave me really a hard time. You can see it live on stream from yesterday. Um, but still today, you know, IE is going strong. And they actually put more warp bond offers on their RSI website. And I would like to show you what those are and maybe talk about what could you do with them. So I decided to, instead of going live, make a quick video to give you some more help and insight about those actual warp on offers on the RSI website today. And I believe they're going to be valid until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, Central Time, uh, uh, US Central Standard Time. Sorry, Central Time, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, I think, again, and I said this so many times, don't do anything crazy. Wait until the last day. You might be surprised. There might be some little tiny link you still need for your chain to your dream spaceship if you actually intend to buy a spaceship. And don't forget, you don't have to. You can play the game with a $45 starter package. You don't have to purchase more expensive ships with real money. You don't have to. You can actually earn money in-game and buy I would say 80% of all the ships in game right now. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump to the website and I will go to the, uh, not to the RSI website, I will go to my favorite CCU game app website because it is more um, organized and uh, yeah, for me, easier to read. I don't know. It's, it's just my thing. I like this web page. So let's uh, check it out. Okay, we are here. Oh, that's my fleet. You're not supposed to see my fleet again. Actually, it didn't change. It did not change, guys. <laughs> um, I have some saved CCU chains, and you can see here that you can actually uh, look at your fleet with a saved CCU chain. What does that mean? Well, the saved CCU chain will already trigger loners, and you can see what loners those are. For example... I have a CCU chain to the Raylan, and yeah, this will give me that. This will give me this loner here, the uh, Kadual, and you can see it's my safe chain to the Raylan, right? Uh, I didn't upgrade to the Raylan yet, um, but yeah, it's in here. I can I can just select and get uh, all the loners uh, or only my hanger, and yeah. No, no, no surprises here. I didn't upgrade anything, didn't buy anything uh, except the Silent, right? I bought the Galax Silent. That's it. So, okay, let's go to the uh, CCU website. Um, CCU Game Map has a special filter here for all the CCUs. And let's click on Warbond. And what do we have here? My God, today it is loaded. Uh, we do have the uh, 350R, uh, which is a $10 saving. Um, pretty nice ship. I really like it. Um, it's a, a razor ship, but, you know, if you don't like raising, not a good option. But it could be a nice little link to a dream chain you want to build, right? And it will give you a $10 saving. The Merchantman, um, yeah. It's in my hangar. I do own it. You can get it for $50 off. We just don't know when the ship is going to be completed. Right? So that's going to be a problem. I love the Redeemer. And by the way, yeah, $50 saving today. Uh, I love the Redeemer. Um, great ship. Uh, $20 saving could be also part of a chain to a more expensive ship. Right? Okay, everybody knows I love the mining ship Orion. Uh, according to the developers, CIG, the ship team, this is the end game for mining. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it has everything. Everything uh, when it comes to mining gameplay is in there, right? You can crack asteroids, you can refine them, and you can sell them. So... That's that's what it is. I mean, it's it's basically a mining platform. You don't have to go back to a spaceport. You might have to have someone picking up refined material to sell it 
or you can do it by yourself. Um, when is this ship coming out? We have no idea. What we do know is uh, you get it for $75 saving today. Uh, and just to let you know, the uh, new ship, the Arastra, which I also did not buy yet, and I explained it in one of my streams, um, is $575. So you could get the Orion today for 575, or you stick to the restaurant and get it for 575 for credits or fresh money. But um, yeah, if you buy it outright, the um, restaurant cost 525. So also with some savings. But here the Polaris, very interesting. I do have it uh, in my hangar. I see you chained to it. Uh, saved me a lot of money. Uh, here you can get it uh, for for fifty dollars cheaper, and uh, yeah, you can change to the Polaris. And they also mentioned uh, working on the Polaris several times, so we might see the ships sooner than later uh, in the PU in the Persistent Universe, right? And yeah, fifty dollars saving today. The six hundred I Explorer. Nothing to say here. We know there is a. Um, uh, rework going on we don't know when the rework is completed but this is one of my favorite ships if you like the luxurious side of spaceships 600i is a great ship um, I love it the rework is going to make it better um, you get also the exploration module you get a name reservation so you can change the name of the ship and if you buy it now uh, guys you actually get the 2953, 2953 best in show poster, right? Uh, I forgot about it. All the best in show ships will have a special paint and the best in show poster. You don't get a real poster. It's not a physical poster. It's something for your persistent hanger. And actually, persistent hangers are coming soon as well. And then you can decorate your persistent hanger with a poster from, you know, the best in show ship, twenty nine fifty three. <laughs> Here you go. Um, Vulture the same. I do own it. I love it. I'm a industrial guy in Star Citizen. Um, yeah. So the Vulture, uh, fifteen dollars saving. If you want to have it or use it as a link to a more expensive ship, you could. And I will show you in a minute how to do that. The SRV for sure will stay until tomorrow. Uh, actually, until end of November, November thirty. You will have this in here. It's a new ship. It's a new Warp Bond edition. Um, it's in game. It's flyable. It will give you a $15 saving today. The Corsair is here because it's the best in show as well. You get a poster, a special paint, and you can get it for $20 cheaper. But you also, and don't forget that that what happened last year to me. Um, I buy the ship. I get the special paint. I mail the ship. I keep the special paint. So you actually keep the special pay. I need some coffee. Sorry. You don't, you don't have to be afraid. If you melt the ship, uh, you actually keep the paint skin and also the poster. So, um, C1 Spirit, new ship. That's why it's still in store with a $15 saving and the A1 Spirit, $25 saving also here in store. So, okay, what can you do with those war bonds? Well, you can just upgrade to one of, this sh of those ships. Let's create a new chain. And um, I will just select an LTI ship as a starter ship. Uh, and let's choose the uh, Polaris, one of my favorites. And it's being worked on and might come out soon. So who knows? Create chain. And here you have it. A long chain, but... Guess what? With that long chain, you can get the Polaris for 47% less. Actually, I have to give you a little disclaimer, uh, disclosure. I can get it for 47% less because I do have many of those uh, savings saved up in CCU links I bought over several months, including... Invictus launch week last week, uh, last year, sorry, <laughs> and uh, IAE last year. So, but if you do, did the same and you want to get to the Polaris, you might actually have done the same thing. 
And you might be able to get a big saving today because Polaris is $50 off. You can get it for $400 today if you did it in the right way. If you listen to me, <laughs> always wait until the end of the show. And if it's not working out, keep. Here's the thing, guys. And I see comments on my video as well. Um, keep the CCU chains or this. Let's 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 rephrase that. Keep your CCUs, the upgrades you bought, in your hangar. Don't melt them. I would never melt those. If there's a price increase, you forget about it. You will buy it back for a higher amount, of, for more money. So keep them in your hangar. I mean, what's the, what's the problem? You need those anyway. So keep them in your hangar. Save the price. Uh, save the value. Uh, the savings you had. And yeah, build your chain over a longer period of time maybe wait until next year right if you miss something here for the orion be patient put them in your hangar keep them there wait you might get the missing links next year doing invictus launch week which is i think may or then again iae and there's sometimes special offers during the year randomly as well okay Especially when new patch is coming out. All right. Um, how can you protect a ship's value? If you bought a ship outright, like an original uh, uh, concept ship, right? Um, you didn't see you chain to it. You can meld it. You can meld it, put it back in your, put it in your buy bag, sorry, and then buy it back with store credit or fresh money for the same amount of money you purchased the ship for, okay? Very important to mention, that works only if you purchase the ship outright and you didn't see you chain to it. That's a very important fact I have to tell you. Let's check the uh, Banu Merchantman. And by the way, the, the game chose the... The website chose the Storm AA as a starter ship. If you own already, and I can show you, uh, a starter ship, uh, L an LTI token, do it different. Come here, select, select from your hangar. For example, take the uh, cutter sc scout and create it, the chain again, and it will look different. But here, here you go. I actually don't save more money. Uh, I save only 46%, but it's a $5 difference only. So I could actually go from the Scout to the Hawk, from the Hawk to the Spirit, and so on to the Polaris for $405. Attention, if you see this clock, if you see this clock, these are time-limited time limited CCUs. You don't get them all the time. You might have to buy them now or wait until the next big event, Evictus Launch Week or IEE. All right? Let's do the Banner Merchantman. Why not? It's actually a little bit cheaper than the Polaris. I created a chain. I can get it for 42% off if I use all the CCU chains or upgrades I have already in my hangar. And of course, the ones we store, Warbond, and the ones from the store with Warbond. And then, uh, yeah, I could actually go and say, I want to have a new starter ship. It will give me for sure this Storm AA. There you go. They have almost the same savings. You pay $375 instead of $650. And you will save $275. And you have the Banu Merchantman, which will give you great loaner ships like the Hull C, for example. And the, C and the C2, uh, the Crusader C2. Great ships, guys. I love it. Even though I don't have the Banner Merchantman, I'm blessed because I do have those great loaner ships. Guys, that's it for today. Um, oh, one more thing. <laughs> I want to show you on Discord. Uh, we have this special channel here from the CCU Game Map website, and they will give uh, some advice the experts there, they will give some advice what you could do today. And there's something here, day 10, 
uh, which is the day one of the finale. Um, this gentleman, another lemming, says, Cutlass Black Freelancer 2, 350, the racing is $5. This is a useful CCU that lets you take advantage of the Cutlass Black price increase Freelancer Warborn from a few months ago. But you may have better. So, okay. If you own those to the Cutlass Black Freelancer, you might have an advantage. I like this advice. I like this website. I like the Discord server. They help you to build chains and they help you to make wise decisions. Uh, these are the free concept to concept Warbond CCUs. You should really have and keep the source in your hangar also. Keep it in your hangar. Keep the source in your hangar. Persis to Polaris, you get for $25. Hull D to the Orion, $25. So if you do have already Hull D and you want to go to Orion, today is the day. $25. Liberated to the Banner Merchant, $25. I will give it a link. Uh, a like. <laughs> so, guys, that's it for today. Um, I'll see you for sure tomorrow. Not sure if it's going to be live or just a quick video like this today. But, of course, I want to keep you updated. What's happening on the RSI website? What are the good, good offers, good CCU links you need to buy? And, uh, yeah what's actually going on in the Star Citizen world. And if you like it, if you want to see more like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Subscription on YouTube is for free, but it will help us to grow this community here on uh, YouTube. It's a great community. And um, yeah, that's it from my side. I wish you a nice day. I see you in the verse and be respectful. See you.